And time for some food poisoning for thought. So today we're talking about uh, an underappreciated movie. And perfectly illustrating that, this is my copy. No, I'm not talking about Coraline, although Coraline's a great movie. I'm talking about Paranorman. The fact that you're thinking it's Coraline and the fact that Paranorman doesn't have its own box shows you just how underappreciated it is. So, Paranorman is from the makers of Coraline. It's really cool technologically because they use 3D printer technology to have a huge wide range of emotions and details and that's why, for instance, one of the main characters is noted for having literally thousands of freckles, which couldn't have been done previously with the previous technology. It's gorgeous. It's well acted. And if you liked Coraline, if you liked Nightmare Before Christmas, if you liked any of those, then there's a good chance you'll like this one. Now, like Coraline, like Nightmare Before Christmas, this is a spooky horror. It's scary enough for kids, and it's more than funny enough for adults. But what sets Paranorman apart from these, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, is Tim Burton going as dark as Disney would let him, basically. And it's an action movie, it's an adventure movie, it's a big sprawling spectacle. Coraline is a mystery. It's Neil Gaiman going as dark and whimsical as he can. It's mythology. It's an exploration that way. Now they're both very smart movies, they're both very good movies. Paranorman is a much smarter movie than both of those in its own way. In the story construction especially, Paranorman is a brilliant, brilliant story. They take a story that you'll think you have figured right at the get-go, and the story and the plot will progress, and just when you think it's going to go in the obvious and kind of predictable way, it'll go in a smarter way. And it'll do that every time. Every time it has a chance to go in the predictable path or the smart path, it'll go the smart way. It'll zig and it'll zag. And by the time you're done, if you're like me or my wife, you'll be left standing going, Holy crap! Did that just happen? Rather than be big and melodramatic, it just keeps choosing to be smarter. And as a result, it's this poignant, surprisingly bittersweet, sad, triumphant little ball of odd. And it's really kind of excellent. It's one of those movies that's very hard to uh, explain without spoiling a lot. The basic premise is that you have Norman, who can see dead people. And just like Sixth Sense, because I know you're thinking it, just like Sixth Sense, this leaves him ostracized, uh, picked on, bullied in school. And then he discovers that not only does he see dead people, but it runs in his family and it comes with a job description. And I won't say what that is, but I will say that John, that John Goodman makes an amazing dead guy. So. I recommend you watch this. I absolutely recommend you watch this, especially, you know, around the Halloween time of year. And it will surprise you. All right, so that's where we are, and uh, have a great day.